In this video, we will learn how to add multiple materials to a single object in Unreal Engine 5. We will start with a simple problem on the example of this chair and add a new material for the pillow. Then we will see how the selection tools will allow us to work even with complex shapes like this rabbit in here. Finally, we will tackle a tricky case when you don't have enough triangles but need to split the mesh into two materials anyway. Welcome to Unreal Arc Wizard everyone and let's dive in. So I got this chair model, let's say I want to set a different material for the pillow but keep everything else as it is. Right now I can't really do it because as soon as I drag and drop the material onto the pillow, the back changes as well. But I want the result to be like this. So let's fix it. Before we begin let's quickly create a backup of our model. I'll press Ctrl B to find this model in the content browser. Then I'll press Ctrl D to create a copy. Let's drag and drop it into the scene to make sure we're working with our new model. To adjust anything in the model we need to open modeling tools first. We can find it under this drop down menu menu in here or alternatively you can press shift 5 and it will switch it automatically. If you don't see modeling mode in here then go to edit plugins search for modeling and enable it then restart the engine. Now let's make sure the model we want to edit is actually selected then go to attributes edit materials and in here you'll find the menu where we can add the material. We can click on this plus to add an element. I'll find my new material and drag and drop it into it. Now we go to apply it to the pillow. Doing it with a brush would take a while. Thankfully we don't have to. Let's clear the selection, instead let's switch the selection mode to all connected. This works just like element selection in 3ds Max or select linked in Blender, meaning it selects the entire connected piece of geometry in one go. So we just click on it once, done. Now let's make sure that the active material is the last material we have added. Scroll down and under material edits click assign active material. When we accept the changes we will override the original static mesh in the content browser. After we have done this step we can navigate to the details panel and under materials we will see a new element. From here we can change it to anything we like without going into the modeling mode again. Now let's see how we can use the selection tools to work with complex shapes like this rabbit. By the way, just in case you want to practice with it, this is actually a free model. I'll put a link to it in the description. So let's say I want to take this model and split it up down the middle just like here. As always, let's find this mesh in the content browser, duplicate it. I'll drag and drop it into the scene and we'll work with this one. First, I'll scale him up so it's easier to work with. Before we start working with it. Let's also isolate this model so it's easier to work with. I'll select my light while also keeping the selection on the rabbit. Then right click, visibility, show only selected. Nice, much better. Shift 5 to open modeling mode again. Attributes, edit materials. It's usually a good idea to begin very rough and then fine tune later. So I'll lower my brush size just a little bit. Look at him from the side and just very roughly select what I see in here. Under selection edits, I can click on grow to bring it closer to the middle. I can also click on shrink to lower the selection. Let's begin with the hardest part with this section between the ears. It's quite hard to work in here with a brush, so we'll use a trick instead. First I'll shrink it back a little bit around here, then switch to the selection mode to all within angle, set the angle to something like 40 degrees and click in here once. What I'm after is just having a straight line in here. Now I can click grow twice and I'm exactly in the middle. Now what I want to do is just fine tune the selection in here, switch back to the brush and reset the angle and try to select it in here. By the way, a bonus tip. See how the camera clips and doesn't actually let me get near this section? Well, there is a console variable that will let us fix it. I'll just set the value to zero and click execute and camera clipping doesn't annoy us anymore. Now let's actually get closer and start selecting those polys. By the way, to deselect, hold shift and keep drawing. If you got some of those triangles sticking out, you can click on optimize border and it will clean it up. I have selected here those elements as well, but I actually want to keep their material, I don't need them. So I'll switch again to all connected, hold shift and click on it once to completely deselect the whole element. I'll do it here as well and here too just in case. Here again I have a few triangles sticking out, I can click optimize border and they go away. Now let's just make sure that we have selected everything that we needed to select. We can disable show wireframe to have a bit of a better look at it and yeah, it looks good. 
Now let's go to materials, add an element, find the material we want, drag and drop it, make sure active material is our new material and under material edits assign active material. Let's accept, unhide everything else, now let's have a look, looks pretty straight to me. Now let's look at a special case, I want to split this room in two just like I have in here, but we don't have enough triangles to make this change. As you can see this floor in here only has like two triangles on the surface. This just means we will need to slice it on the line where our material will change. So as always let's first create a duplicate of this mesh. In this particular scene I have other floor tiles that are using this mesh so I'll just replace it by drag and dropping into the static mesh slot. Then inside modeling mode I will go to model and select plane cut. As you can see it has added a grid which will be cutting our mesh. I'll just rotate it 90 degrees and make sure it is located down the middle. I need both halves to stay so I'll go to options and click on keep both halves. I also want it to stay the same mesh so I will not export it as a new asset. Now let's click on cut and accept. If we switch to wireframe mode we will see that an additional edge was added to this mesh. Go to attributes, edit materials, add an element, drag and drop our material into it, select the triangles that we need. Since we created an edge in here now we can select it exactly where we want it, switch active material to our new one and click assign. Now our room is now nicely split down the middle. But there is still one problem. What if the model itself is bugged and has flipped faces like in here? That usually means there is an issue with the normals. If you want to learn more about modeling mode, I have made a full video showing how I fix 99% of my normals all inside Unreal Engine. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you there.